My name is Clinton Peruot and I'm here today to interview a few artists from the, the HSC Black Little Bay Visual Arts Exhibition. I can't wait to get inside it. The feeling is just alive. As soon as I walked in, I could feel this really great sense of atmosphere. There were so many people there, and even the curator of the Sydney Contemporary Arts Museum was there to open the show. What do you guys think of the atmosphere tonight? Oh, I feel like it's just really vibrant and alive. Yeah, what do you think? Oh, it's, it's great, you know, and I'm really enjoying these artworks. There were heaps of people there for the free music and artworks. I even had my own competition. One of the artworks that caught my eye was Sydney Pettit, it's number 22. Her artwork just felt so alive. Sydney's artworks included three paintings, each with an industrial feel and different colour. They also included an interesting dripping effect which was nice to look at. I decided to track her down and get an interview. Now I'm here with Sydney Pettit today, the, the, uh, the painter of these three yeah, fabulous artworks. I'm here, to, I'm here today with, with Sam Quinteros and um, I'm going to interview him on the uh, number 22, Sydney Pettit's artwork. So, um, so have a look at this and uh, what do you think of it? Well this is obviously number 22 by Sydney Pettit, it is called um, Nature in the Globalist Eyes. It's described as a drawing but I can see she's used uh, paints of four colours. She's used green, she's used red, she's used blue and she's used black, white and a shade of grey. And now, so this this work obviously explores the theme of uh, globalism and its effect on the environment as you can see in panel number one shows uh, obviously the urban environment as it is today. Uh, it's got um, block shaped uh, housing uh, just reflecting on the, the blue water just showing just how it is. Um, the middle panel shows um, obviously a bleak outlook for future. Uh, it's, it's red signifying a uh, violence and frustration in a polluted environment that's just scarred with uh, black marks and it just looks derelict and the, the third panel, uh, the green one shows back to nature we see the, uh, the original state or as it should be uh, with the, uh, the flowing trees in the vibrous green background and um, it, great contrast between that and the, uh, the block shape of the uh, urban environment. Uh, you can see she's obviously been influenced by the, um, the abstract expressionists of the 1950s with their expressionist abstract lines and shapes. Uh, drippings come in back in fashion and we can see she's sort of being attached to a sort of dripping fashion that's come in as a trend. Okay, that's Sam Gutierrez's outlook on Sydney Pettit it's number 22 artwork. Thanks, Sam. Another artwork that I found interesting was Greg's, number 9. Which Greg's artworks were a series of three paintings. They were effective because they were some of the only traditional paintings there. I'm here with Luke today and um, we're going to ask him a bit of questions about uh, number nine, Greg's artwork. This is Luke Dad talking about number nine, G Greg's artwork. Well, I think it stands out from the rest of the textures and the colours compared to everything else. The girl and the boy is a bit different to what I usually like in art, but that's normally it. So, you enjoying your night? Yeah, it's quite good, except for the music's not very good, but it's good atmosphere around here for friends. That's good, it's good. Enjoy your night, Luke. I shall. Sure. Thank you. Good night. I'm here with Greg, the, the, the artist for number nine in, a, in the HSC thing. And um, we're going to ask him some questions. So, Greg, um, what is the concept behind your artwork? Um, well, it was a bit of a 
battle with Ms. Nicola. It's, I kind of wanted the concept to be just um, that art is art and there's really no truth behind it and that um, it, if it has to say something then it really shouldn't be art. Or, like with this statement, we had to explain what our artwork's about, but I feel that if it has nothing to say, then why should I have to make it up for the booklet, for the statement, and for the audience themselves? Um, so yeah, basically, underlying my art is just about nothing. It's about how art can be faked. Yeah, yeah. very interesting. Um, was the process of the creation very stressful? It, it was indeed. Um, Lots of feuds with her. It's, but I mean, she's a great teacher. It's just, it's very, it's very stressful. It's so much to do. It has to represent 60 hours of work, and um, yeah, it's, it's, there's not much time to get it all done. So it is quite stressful. Thank you, Greg, and um, enjoy your night. Thank you very much. I'd really like to thank the Year 12 art students who helped make the exhibition what it was. It's a really well done job. Thanks, guys. And that concludes the night, and what a night it was.